So here I am again with another video and in this video I will be attempting to make my first drag makeup look so mind you guys this is my first time so don't be too hard on me so first thing first we want to make my eyebrows completely disappeared so ang gagamitin ko dito is Elmer's glue yung violet yung disappearing glue para matakpan natin yung kilay natin and then gagamit ako ng spoolie to make my hairs go upward para ma-flatten yung kilay natin Pulitin ko lang siya ng apat na beses. Afterward, gumamit ako ng Benay Banana Powder para maset natin yung kilay at yung glue na ginamit natin. After matago ang kilay, um, it's time na para sa whole face natin. So, gagamit ako ng primer first to protect my skin kuno kahit hindi naman talaga clear skin. Then afterward, gumamit ako nitong full coverage foundation from Pudir, Pudair, or whatever it is. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's really, really full coverage. And mind you guys, hindi ko siya shade. So next, I will be using Naked Urban Decay Seamless Concealer to highlight my T-zone and also to cover na yung mga dapat takpan dyan sa mukha natin or whatever. So after that, I will be using a banana powder from Ben I to set everything out. So for the eyebrows, I will be using Natasha in the shade of dark brown. So ang reference ko sa eyebrows is yun nakita ko lang sa Pinterest but sad to say, hindi ko siya kinaya. In the end, nagmukha lang siyang Nike logo. So after lining out the eyebrows, I will be using a dark brown eyeshadow from James Charles Palette. So these are all the eyeshadows that I used for my eyeshadow look. Starting with the dark brown, binilan ko lang siya sa outer core ng aking mata. So since drag look to, um, medyo inexage ko lang yung eyeshadows and trust me blending is the key to success after that gumamit lang ako ng black shadow para bigyan ng depth yung outer V ng mata ko so I decided to use a concealer to cut my crease and then set it with the white powder para yung gagamitin natin yung next shadow is kumapit at mas matingkad yung kulay and on top of that crease I use a yellow green shadow and blend it out nice and clean and kumamit ako ng dark green color para mas bigyan pa ng depth at magkaroon ng transition I guess For the liner, dapat gagawin ko siya is exage pero natakot ako kaya medyo simple lang yung ginawa ko dito. Don't need a hint to hold tight. Don't need a love that's 
After ng liner, kinarol ko na rin yung piligmata ko and naglagay na rin ako ng false eyelashes. And after that, ko na lang yung mga ginamit ko sa eyeshadow is gagamitin ko na rin dun sa ilalim ng mata ko. So I decided na maglagay ng white color para sa waterline ko to make my eyes more bigger than it is already. And now we're done with the eyeshadows. Ang gagawin ko na lang is contour. Sa contour, mas nag-focus ako sa ilong kasi lahat ng dark greens napansin ko yung mga ilong nila is really really pinched out naglagay din ako ng blush sa ilong to make it more extra To make this look more dramatic than it already is, I added some normal sa upper lip ko and then sa medyo baba ng mata ko lang. And para sa lipstick, gumamit ako ng red color para mas kunting dramatic lang naman. Bilang naturing ang tanga at ulyanin ako, Ngayon ko lang naalala na meron pala akong white liner kaya ginamit ko siya dun sa concealer para sa waterline ko. And on top of that red lipstick, I added some pink lipstick just right in the middle of that and then add some gloss. And lastly, don't forget to add some shimmer. And this is the final look. Pasensya na sa nagpupot-pot. Ito yung one of the reasons kaya hindi ako nagsalita habang nagmi-makeup ako. Thank you guys for watching and hope you appreciate this. If you want more video just comment below whatever you want me to do sayonara and your bye bye